Hello, husbandos and waifus. Welcome to another set of three for Haikyuu. Uh, you guys were really hyped <laughs> that, I, that I did it, uh, that I uploaded the first set of three. But uh, what you guys did not know was the fact that we live stream it on twitch.tv slash Hermzar. Because a lot of you be asking, when do you, when do you stream it, Herm? When do you stream it? I'm like, I, I stream it on Friday when it releases alongside with Don Machi. So we're doing that today. Uh, the last episode was a very relatable episode because it was like Tanaka. Because Tanaka is me and Tanaka is us. He was he was just, you know, going through it. And I get it. So anyways, guys, let's hop into this episode. I, I don't know what it is. It looks like uh, Nakoma stuff, which is going to be somewhat refreshing. The genius boy himself keeps standing back up. Nakoma has no holes. Oh wow, Kenma's actually blocking. This is what I mean, guys. People people want me to like upload the parts where I'm not talking, where I'm just doing this. I wonder how fast they're gonna go through this. He's like a dad. He cares about Kuro, how cute. I just said somewhat. Just because he has that like a an aloof personality. But that's the best part about Kenma. Oh, he's been having fun since he played with Hinata. I kinda like it. So his favorite part is just the, like the mind games. I get it. <laughs> That's me playing Genshin Impact, except no controller. You love Kenma men mentality? Dude, his mentality is so strong. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Brain incomprehensible. Power D. Stamina S, that makes sense. Technique is C. Actually, I'll, I feel like I would switch power with technique. Because his technique still needs a lot, a lot of work. His power is pretty decent. His leg muscle incomprehensible. Calves incomprehensible. That's what I want to do. Level up my YouTube channel. Level up from pain. Oh, they want to level up because they're getting bodied. Now's not the time to be thinking back fondly on your junior. <laughs> Look at that. Side characters. <laughs> it's like they're talking to me when I said side characters. Like, what did you say? God. Power thighs. Oh, they, they got taken a dump. Ooh. That was a good save. Oh, nice. Oh, they're trying to tire them out. They're just trying to burn them out. Because he doesn't like exercise. He doesn't like sweating. But they don't know much about him. It's all about the level up. <laughs> you know what's so weird? In my, like, of, of course, from our perspective. I mean, that's the sport. That's how to do it. You attack the person that you feel like is. Kenma's, like, mentally strong. He is kind of like the, he's the brains of the team, right? They're, they're picking on him. It's like they're bullying him. And it, it sounds so sad to say it that way, but that's how to play the game. Oh, man, they do a real good job, like, hopping back and forth from the game into, like, a flashback. Dude, this is me. I feel it. I do that, too. <laughs> yeah, they, they're doing a great job animating this, for sure. This is Genshin Impact. <laughs> God! Zelda, you mean Genshin Impact? <laughs> Genshin Impact prequel is Zelda. No way. <laughs> You can tell it's slowly pissing him off. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> he made you work for it. This man training. I need to do that. Yamamoto training arc. GOT! Doing a poop. Oh, he was trying too hard to, sh to like, shine. He be training like Asta. That's him showing that he cares. And worries about other people sometimes. Ooh, that sounds sexual. That's probably why. You're too tense, bro. <laughs> Kenma annoyed as fuck. Oh, shit, dude. That's kind of facts, though. <laughs> oh, I, I thought Kenma was like, oh, come at me, bro. But then again, has a point right there. Oh, shit, Kenma fighting. Let's go. He is funny. He's tired from shouting. Oh, look, now it's like a rivalry between the two. <laughs> Kenma. Why, why Why does Kuro got a smirk like that? <laughs> oh, he took a poop on you. Oh, damn. That's disrespect. How does it feel getting pooped on, bro? My favorite is when Kenma poops. That's super clutch. Is that his way of saying we're friends now? <laughs> the, 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 the face of just like, ugh, what a hassle. <laughs> Look at these fucking side characters. You look like a side character. Wow. 
And we get to look at the expensive TV. Oh, are we gonna are we gonna see um our boy go plus ultra? Kenma about to go plus ultra, guys. They're just picking on Kenma, but Kenma about to fucking prove his worth. And he has the backing of his boys. That almost sounds like bullying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know what I want? I want to see more Bokuto. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Kenma looks hella burnt, though. Oh, Kenma dove in for it. Yo, he want to win. Oh, fuck. He's like, he's like, perfect. We're bullying him. Perfect. Yo, I feel Kenma though. When I was br when I was battling, whenever I break dance, people always think that I'm the weakest link. But I'm like, fuck that. I'm the smartest battler here, bitch. Okay, okay. Aha! Nice. Very nice. Is he gonna take a dump on him? Ooh, -hoo -hoo, he got him. That juke though. <laughs> How Kenma looks so dead though. Ah, oh, fuck. Yo, Kenma live! Kenma's live! He's still thinking! He's still thinking! <laughs> he's like, holy shit. He's tired, but he's still smart. <laughs> you know what? That's that's really cool of Kenma though. Like, if if I mean if Kenma was really into the spotlight, right? That looks really good on him. The fact that he's the threat. The fact that they're watching him over everyone else, so they're trying to tire him out. He's being bullied out of everyone else on the squad. Oh, how they've grown. It's so cute. All in a matter of seconds, all this thought process. And they all stare at number five. <laughs> how awk. Now they're having that doubt. <laughs> He's like, fuck. They're still gonna try. They are sadists now that I think about it. <laughs> he has the backing of his team. That line was badass, yup. <laughs> nice yo i love how they're all thinking the same but at the end of the day it's all love oh shit it goes back and forth i feel that can my hate gravity too i don't hate that word that much i wish someone would tell me that i have guts but more so people just tell me that i have persistence yo i can only imagine how fucking tiring this is nice the, this is the power of friendship guys Aw, oh, he's thinking about Hinata. Do we ship it? I'm kidding. <laughs> I wonder what it's like to have a squad that has your back like that. He jumped! <laughs> oh! <laughs> now that's guts. <laughs> Ken... <laughs> that man still thinking. Dude, I can only imagine how it feels to lose, man. Well, I know, because I always lose, but, you know. I always be taking these L's, so I understand. He's like, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Just because that jump was so awesome. That's guts. <laughs> Kianma. Dude, that's me, dude. Kenma is me. A whole last mood. <laughs> He's like, what, level level 69 now? Now we're back here. The rivalry, the sense of rivalry, I fucking love it. Now we get to watch this expensive ass television. <laughs> this fucking guy, I swear. Oh, so they're trying to make them feel bad. Because if Nishinoya can't get it, no one can. But Nishinoya can adapt. Because we believe in our boy, Nishinoya. Rolling Thunder, best move. Man, Nishinoya ain't intimidated by this man. This man can control the noise just by the clench of his fist. Oh, shit. Nishinoya, best boy, I believe. Yeah, honestly, if I missed, if I missed that many times for anything, I'd feel bad too. This is when you're like, man, the team works together. The clench of his butt cheeks, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah! Because he's a man of men. Dude, he has the eyes of an eagle. Or a crow, in a sense. Man, this is a guy horny for Nishinoya. Nice! By the way, did they change animation studios? I don't know, but I know they probably outs outsourced. They probably outsourced this episode because it looks different from what they usually do. Oh. Let's go! What? Yeah, the, the animation looks a little bit different here. Suki, big mad. He's like a mind reader. Not mind reader, mind control guy. He, he uses his whole upper body, yep. My core is so trash. Has to be 69, 69, you're right. He has monster calves, like me. I believe in Nishinoya. All right, come on, Asahi. Asahi daddy! Nice. Damn. So what you're saying, the worse the blockers are, the, the harder it is to control. 
dude, easy. Just put Hinata up there. <laughs> Damn, double the score. You haven't picked best boy. Bokuto's best boy. Hey, 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 hey. When he get when he becomes emo, he becomes me. Damn. This man's strong though. He's gonna break through them. Oh, do you see that? That vibration? Oh shit! Yo, he's too strong. Too strong. That put back slime. Dude, they're 10 points behind. Tanaka! Let's go! <laughs> Suga mom. He's setting them straight. Thanks, mom. <laughs> they're all staring at him. And he feels it. Tanaka's sister's waifu. Yes, Nechan! He was on his knees. Let's go! Let's go! Suka's gonna receive it. Oh no, he didn't. Okay, cool. He <laughs> not to look how happy he is. Nice. Oh, that's so mean. That's so rude. That's rude. Man, fuck them, dude. I'd be like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. I feel it. That's harsh reality, though. But at the same time, you know, they could have gave words of encouragement instead. But he got, he fucked up last time, too. It's understandable. Oh, Kageyama. <laughs> White-haired Kageyama, that's true. Kageyama loves balls in his eyes. Damn! Chill! Calm Kageyama. <laughs> but it's only his face that's calm. I wonder what they mean by that. By the air is really prickly. The coach seemed to be stressed about that one. Even though they were, like, way ahead. Kageyama loves balls in his hands. That's why he's pretending it's there. Oh, shit! Yo, let's go, Kageyama. I read this and it's still hype. Because I honestly forgot. Nice. He not to block it! They're kind of messing with them. <laughs> Happy he is! Ah! Shit! The death stare. Good run, though. Got some points back. They did. What the heck? <laughs> what I love about Haikyuu is that they put us into the perspectives of the players' minds and it becomes a mental game on top of just like just seeing them do doing their amazing physical abilities. See them saying that the slightest change of mental wavelength changes the game completely. Uh oh, someone's upset. Oh, and that's it. That was a good episode though. I enjoyed that. And I hate how we always look at this freaking expensive ass TV. So what I really enjoyed, because we did three episodes, right? So the first two episodes before this last episode was mainly focused on Nakoma. And we talked about Nakoma already. And I feel like the it was very refreshing to see the Nakoma game. Seeing how well and how far they push, especially when it came to Kenma. So I really enjoyed that. But uh, I think in regards to this episode, it was just more so just like putting you in suspense. I appreciate that. Like I said, Haikyuu does a, a, a very good job in in terms of these keeping you suspense cliffhanger type of bullshit but at the same time i did notice kind of the change of animation uh they probably outsourced this as well but i mean in terms of, it never really bothered me whenever they changed it up a little bit um it still played really good representation of what was happening i mean in comparison to to reading it obviously i still enjoy it it comes in it comes to life Regardless, Kenma true gamer boy, true. Kenma is a true gamer boy and seeing Kenma go plus ultra was really, really dope. And it's nice to see like him having the backing of his teammates. I kind of wish we got a little bit more of Nishinoya and his mindset breakdown here because I love how he, he changed it up before he felt like he was like losing it. He did like a few pushups to get himself back. Barry, I want that book. <laughs>